Yes, boss, I'm going to be recording. Can you please put the music off? Yes. Thank you so much. So let the show begin. Miho's home, Musanze, in northwestern Rwanda, will be the star of our online picnic. So we're taking you to southwestern Uganda instead, to Lake Bunyonyi. This is the location of our Ugandan base, and it's good for you to hear from our folks just across the border. Hi, my name is Nils. Hi, my name is Mary, and we're both students doing an internship at Edirisa, so this will, will be our new home for the five coming months. The Belgian intern's tour of the place begins with checking in with their boss, Brenda. So this is the laundry room where Brenda is currently doing her laundry, but it is also our swimming pool. I'm a manager slash chef. And here we have the canteen where we can have dinner if it's raining. And where we have Brenda's desk. This is our kitchen where our lovely chef Brenda and Speedle make her lovely dinner. A quick stop at the toilet. Which do not use any water except for washing your hands. Niels is climbing upward to the residential section. Brenda working hard to light a fire in order to give us a hot shower right over there. And here we can see Niels who is brushing his teeth using a dugout canoe as a sink. Mari is entering their house. After a long day of hard work, I'm really ready to go to bed. Bye guys! Goodbye, our interns, and keep sending us cool stuff from the paradise of Lake Munyonyi. As we're already in Uganda, what about some travel updates delivered to you by Charlotte from Kabale Forest? If you're interested in traveling to Uganda now, it's quite easy actually. It's easier than traveling to certain countries anyway. You don't have to go into quarantine when you get to Uganda, so that's a huge plus. But you do have to have a negative test to come into the country. Uh, it has to be taken within 120 hours of travel. And when you exit the country as well, you have to have a negative test in Uganda. And there's lots of places here where you can get it done quite easily and not too expensively. If you want to track the gorillas or the chimps, you now have to wear masks, even when you're tracking up to the chimps. No, so not just when you're with them, but the whole time that you're in the forest. So that's a big change. Um, and in fact, conservationists conservation have been pushing for this for many years. So it's likely that if you ever want to see the gorillas, even next year or five years time, you will still be having to wear masks. Um, another thing to mention about travel to Uganda is we've got lots of discounts at the moment. So if you wanted to see the gorillas, the chimps, go on safari, all those activities, there are loads of discounts on. Yeah, come to Uganda. It's actually fairly straightforward. Jane in Kigali has this to add. Rwanda is also open for tourists and they're required to arrive with a negative PCR test within 72 hours of departure from wherever they're traveling from. And they take another test on arrival at the airport and are required to quarantine for 24 hours or um, 48 hours, depending on when they arrive. For gorilla checking, it's uh, more or less like it is in Uganda. Mm. There are travel restrictions between Kigali and the other districts in the country, but this does not apply to tourists, um, but they're required to have uh, clearance to be able to move between the districts. And if they're departing from the country, they're required to have a negative PCR test before they leave Rwanda. So you can still book your trip to Rwanda and come and enjoy the land of a thousand hills. And what's the situation in Congo? Gloria from Bukavu has sent us an audio report that we've laid over some footage of her city and national park. Traveling to DRC Congo is easier. You can either come with Ethiopian Airlines, 
via Goma International Airport or use the neighboring countries. So all you need to do is to have a negative COVID test on your arrival as well as on your exit. We've been wearing masks at the Kahuzi Biga National Park for the last 10 years. Yeah, why? We are protecting the gorillas from human being infections. And thank God today the whole world is now following our steps. Currently, we are the only park which is open in the Congo. Finally, let's have a look at some of the website highlights. Park Ranger Emma wrote about tracking mountain gorillas in the time of COVID. The first insights video about volunteering has been published, and a five-part video lesson is awaiting your comments. In the forums, Marcus proposed an annual dugout canoe race. Remember, each Gorilla Highlands expert member can start a discussion, pose a question, or share a story. GAG is growing steadily. You better check in daily.